will for sure. Okay, so we're going to start um, today's learning plan A. I hope she's doing that. We should be oh, active no. now. Otherwise, we'll be doing it. We're going to pick up where we left off last week, which um, I gave you three or two okay. handouts. Yep. Um, one was on color, one was on adding or CSS, one was on adding images. <coughs> um, we worked through that, and then we didn't practice on Pacific Trail. So we're going to practice inserting a couple images today, and then I'm going to give you a third handout on stylizing fonts and type with CSS, and we're going to work through that. Um, there is going to be a 10-question quiz today in class that you can use your notes and blackboard shell and whatever just can't talk to each other you can use any and everything that I've handed out um, we're going to take that and then we're going to go through um, another website practice from the ground up it's called prime properties it's going to be just HTML we're not going to be stylizing it so just HTML so it's very much largely review and I want you to be really clear as we're working through that to feel comfortable with it because it's almost identical to what you're going to have next week, which is your midterm on HTML. It's going to be another company with the same process of a two-page website. So as we're working through Prime Properties, make sure you're comfortable with it and understand what's going on, and then midterm next week will be very easy. Also for that, you'll be able to use all your notes, the website, whatever, you just won't be able to get help from any human being in the room or outside of the room. You can't phone a friend either. Okay? No lifelines. No lifelines, no phone a friend. No 50 50. No baby, I don't know. Depends. I might be generous. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's the plan for today. I would like you, I think we downloaded these images, but just in case, I want to make sure we have the three images we need today. So go into Learning Plan 8, and on um, Step 1, it talks about um, the zipped file right here for the photos. That just has the three photos or two that we're going to use today. So click on that in Learning Plan 8, <coughs> and you're going to get the download um, down here in the lower left corner. Click on it to launch the WinZip or whatever zipping this happens to be, and we're going to, yep, what file is it? Yeah. Jillian? I haven't said yet. Oh. Just get the pictures. So control all and then extract all so we get all of those images extracted, unzipped. And here's some of the images that we're going to be using today. So pay attention to where that went. It's probably in your downloads folder and it's going to be in a folder called Chapter 5 Images. So we're going to need to get to those in a little bit. So make sure that you have those photos, and then um, this is where we left off last week was using Trillium, but we practiced a few things. We put in some graphics, I believe, but what we're going to do now is we're going to move on and talk about um, images. So every time you guys build a website, it has to be in a folder. And all the files that you need have to live in that folder. So that's where our index file is. That's your starting page, right? It has to be named index. And then that's where contact services, whatever. Those pages would be inside there. If you have pictures, they need to be inside here also. But think of a site like even LTC's site. They probably have, gosh, I don't even know. Let's say 1,000 pages and let's say 5,000 images. Let's just pretend. If all of those files, they're going to be in that root folder no matter what, but if all 5,000 pictures were in there too, it'd be really hard to find stuff and navigate. So what a lot of times you do is that you make an extra folder inside your website folder called images, and just for um, keeping things neat and clean, you put all the images inside that subfolder. The only thing that changes is when we ask for the picture to actually show up, normally we just start putting the name of it. I hope this thing works. Old school. <laughs> uh, normally we just call up the name, we say image URL, and we say what it is. If we put it in a subfolder, we have to add that to the path that it needs to go to. We need to tell it to go to the images folder, then backslash go inside and look for a particular image. So today, and when you start making websites, um, practicing today and for your midterm, it's good practice to do this images folder. So 
We'll look at that as we're working on it. So what I want you to do is go back to the handout I gave you last week, which is the one that says image element on the front. Can you go in? Yeah. Um, <laughs> go back to that one. And we left off on well, we stopped after we worked through things. So at about 1.39, we stopped. And then in your handout, we jumped to the 150s. We're going to work on Pacific Trails again. Um, but what they walk you through in this book is each time they have you create a new folder and start from scratch. We aren't doing that. We're starting from our Pacific Trails folder that we already have. So... That's not the right one, though. I'm not sure. Is this, one this is the right one. Thank you. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. No, that's not it. Image all that. Okay. So, what we need to do is everybody just look at um, your desktop, and we should still have a folder called Pacific because that's the one that we've been working on. It's either on your desktop or maybe you put it on your jump drive or something like that. Inside Pacific, you should have three files. You should have an index file, which is your home page. You should have a page for the yurts. And then last week, we started working on cascading style sheets. We gave it a certain look. So we have a CSS page, and it is called Pacific.CSS. So those should be the three things inside of it. So if I have reservations and activities, should I delete those? Those were, um, yeah, we didn't make those yet. It doesn't matter. You can keep them. We just didn't make those pages yet. Okay. Ultimately, it is a four-page website, but we're not going to go that far with it. All right. So Index and Yurts and Pacific should be in here. Um, so if you have that, we're at a good point. Um, what we need to do now is why don't we make a folder? Let's just assume that this is going to be a big website and we want to keep it organized. So in here we're going to make a subfolder, so new folder, and we're going to call this images. So lowercase, plural, images is a very um, typical name for the folder that holds your images. That's kind of industry standard. So name it <laughs> images. And then let's go to <coughs> the downloads that you had. Oops from this morning, oh, if you're crying out loud, and grab um, those images that we had in there. So we aren't going to use all of them, but let's just take coast, sunset, trail, and yurt, and copy those into or drag them into your folder of images, that subfolder <coughs> within the Pacific Trails. So that way we have those four images available to us. <coughs> so from the chapter 5 zip, we need these five, four photos, sorry. Everybody good with that? All right. We are going to open the index page in Notepad++. If we double click on it from here, remember it's going to launch a browser to show it to us because it assumes that's how we want to view it. So to, to get it to open in Notepad++, you need to right-click on it and then choose Edit with Notepad++. That will launch the software and um, open your HTML document as code rather than opening it in the browser. So this is what we have already. Whoops. Shrink that down. This is what our page looks like, teeny tiny. This is our index page. And if you guys want to do a run and launch in Chrome to see what it looks like, this is where we left off. Um, we did some stylizing where we gave the um, header a dark background and white type. We gave our navigation a different colored background. And we gave our body copy, everything in the body, unless it's overridden, <laughs> we gave that a lighter, um, kind of a grayish text color. Um, let's also go, and since we're already in Notepad, let's open that CSS file also. So from Notepad, we can do a file open, and then navigate to your Pacific folder on your desktop or on your jump drive. And let's open 
the CSS and the yurts page, as long as we're here. So let's get Pacific and yurts both open. Then that way we're going to have three tabs. All of our files will be here for us. The CSS, the cascading style sheet that we wrote last week, we made some basic rules for the body. And that's absolutely anything that shows up on our web page follows these rules. Background color is white, and the text color is that lightish gray. That gets over, overridden if there's something more specific. So the H2s have a different color. The navigation has a different color. But overall, this is the universal rules for the page. White background, grayish type. We gave some rules to the header as far as a background color and then a text color. We gave a rule of a background color to our navigation section. We gave a rule to the H2 and to the DT, the definition list terms, which only show up on the uh, yurts page. That's where we can see that in play. So this is our starting point. Is everybody good with this and ready to jump in? Okay, on the handout, skip number one um, on page 150. We're actually going to skip a lot because I didn't teach to the level that we teach this when it's pure HTML, a whole class of that. So skip number one. Skip number two, skip number three. We are jumping to task number three, which is the halfway point on page 151, and we are going to add an image. So it says, um, go to the index page and add an image tag on a new line below the H2 element. Configure it to display the coast JPEG image. Also configure the alt tag, height, and width attributes. Save and test. So. We're going to be putting the picture of coast, so get to your index page, and after the heading to, right here, enjoy luxury in nature. Whoops. Sorry. This is where we want to get. So in your main section, the main content, heading to, enjoy luxury in nature. This next line down is where we're going to put an image tag and actually pull up a picture. So the code that we're going to use is IMG, which means image, or go get a picture. And then you say source src equals, and then in quotation marks, you equals, put, you got a plus sign. Oops, thank you. In quotation marks, you put the actual name of the file. But remember, we also put it in a subfolder, so we have to start with that. Images, backslash, and then the name of the file which is coast.jpg, end quote. So that's telling it to go to the images folder and find the image coast.jpg. Then we need to give it an alt tag, and that's what the screen readers would say, so that's human words for what the picture is about. I'm going to pop us back to this folder, and this is the one that we're asking for, this one right here. So what would some human words be for it? It could be yeah, just a description. We're going to just write um, Pacific Coast as our alt tag. So we're going to do alt equals, and then in quotes, Pacific Coast. So again, screen reader would say that. And then when the page is loading, if something's wrong with the image, you would get that red X, but the words would still show up. Then they're also telling us to, to um, specify the width and the height that this image should be. So how do we know that? If we didn't create this ourselves, how do we know how big this image is? If you have a photo editing software, you can find out quickly. But if you don't, we just need to go into this folder again. So if you guys can go back to your Chapter 5 images. And if you right click on an image and choose Properties, the first tab is the general properties, and it tells how big it is and when this file was created. But there's another tab called details, and in that, if you scroll down, it tells you the dimensions of this image. <coughs> this image, as it is, is 320 pixels by 250. So that's max size. We don't ever want it bigger than that, or it's going to get pixelated and look ugly. We made it too big. So uh, 320 by 250 is what this one happens to be. So in there, we can say width equals, and then in quotes, 320. And then height equals, in quotes, 250, end quote. And then your end caret. You've got to close that tag. It started right here with image, and then it closes with the caret back here. 
So that's calling up a picture from the images folder. If we hit save and run, we now put a pretty picture in our website. <laughs> Mine didn't work. Okay. The key is spelling <laughs> and making sure that, did you put your pictures in a subfolder called images? Yes. Okay. Is it and is that images folder inside your Pacific Trails folder? Oh, I didn't press oh, equal. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Could be little things like equal signs, greater than sign. You got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's right, except for the fact that it couldn't find the picture. So this is showing. That's a good example of how I'll take So. Change everything to yours. Yep. And um, where's your Pacific Trail? Or your Pacific folder that you're working on? Oh, that's why you have two subfolders. Mm -hmm. Double click that because the, the path would have to say something else. So take these four images, have like the four of them. Uh, it's still not showing. What? Just um, hold down the shift and click on the phone. And the last one. It will say the right. the code. It's images. And then do a cut, control X. Oh. Did I put a code in here? Oh, I did it. Oh, <laughs> no. Ignore moi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who moi is. Moi is translate for me. I don't I don't know a moi either. <laughs> Excuse me. <more. laughs> yep. Sounds like a dude. Should I ignore him? Pardon? Pardon? Oh. <laughs> Click away. And I click on this Watch. Like watch. Mm. <coughs> Not it's gonna work. Because okay, now I we have picture posts. Beautiful. Now I'll take three pictures. <coughs> <coughs> three pictures. Three pictures. If you wanted to leave it all named as you did, you'd have to change that path to say images slash chapter five images slash then post because it's in a folder and folder. Right. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's move on to task four, which is on the yurts page. We're doing basically the exact same thing. So go to your yurts page, and below the H2 element on this page, where it says the yurts at Pacific Trails, they want us to um, do the same thing the same way you did with Coast. So again, the, the main tag is image, and then you have to tell it where to go get it. So source equals, and then in quotation marks, it's going to be the name of the file. In this case, it is yurt J uh, jpeg, but remember it's in the images folder. So images backslash yurt dot jpeg, end quote. So that's where it's going to find it. The alt tag is, alt tag equals, and then what human words do you want it to say or show? We're just going to put yurt. And then with and height, again, we need to go look. <clears throat> so if we look in that folder and we look at the yurt picture and we right click on it again and go down to properties and switch to the details tab, same thing, which is quite common. Once they find a size, they like to use the same size. So the 320 by 250 again. So width, 320, height, is 250 and then remember to finish your closing quote and your closing caret. So that's going to call on a picture to appear there. And there's a picture of the yurt. So we successfully oh, added it did not work. images to our website just by using the image tag. Does anybody have any questions on that?